This week on the New Leadership Normal, Leading Innovation. Creativity is fun. Think workshops with games and toys. We even have fun words like ideation. But is creativity enough? How about Harley Davidson perfume or Bic disposable underwear? Yeah, those are real product flops, by the way. You see, ideas equal creativity. Implementation equals innovation. Innovation is the practical application of creativity into something that has an impact. Being creative is a fantastic way to live your life each day. My favorite people to hang out with are highly creative. Creativity is a prerequisite, a given. We should have creativity, but it's not enough. While a naturally innovative person will implement their idea no matter what, how can we help everyone be innovative? You can't make an organization innovative from the top down. It's really a bottom-up process. Individual people possessing a habit of innovation make an organization innovative. As leaders, we escort people as they innovate. A subtle key is to let innovation happen, to not get in the way of innovation, to eliminate the hurdles. Last week, we talked about identifying and eliminating barriers with the stupid audit. When talking about innovation with our personal brilliance audiences, I tell the story of my Uncle Nunzio. Yes, every Italian family has an Uncle Nunzio. He's a tool and die maker in Pittsburgh. In the shop where he works, he noticed that a machine about the size of a gymnasium that processed wire was down for over eight hours when the wire spool ran out. Two workers are needed to set up the machine with a new spool. My uncle came up with a creative solution. He suggested that they solder the end of one wire spool to the start of another spool. This allowed the machine to operate without stop. Practical brilliance. An everyday guy with a great practical idea. Innovation? Unfortunately, his idea was not implemented. You see, the union opposed this idea because they were concerned about protecting the job of the two workers responsible for loading the new spool in the machine. Remember our definitions. Creativity, yes, but unfortunately an idea not put into practice. So it's not an innovation. That This type of thinking, whether it's originated from a labor union or a manager trying to protect their turf, is a symptom of an environment that does not promote innovation. Innovative workers avoid working at companies that don't promote innovation. Don't let this happen to your organization. What can you do to lead innovation? Thanks for joining me. If you missed us last week, click on the video to your right for The Stupid Audit. Will I see you Saturday morning? Each Saturday, our special email conversation focuses on you as a leader with a message you won't see anywhere else. Click the link on the top right of your screen or visit jimcanarucci.com. Please join us for more next week on The New Leadership Normal.